we're here at Ace Hardware in Redline to make the bike cart and we're turning it into a deer cart that's going to attach obviously on the back of our bike. Now it's currently a whole bunch of fabric that's that's kind of the outline of it um, and we're going to you know knock it down take all that stuff off and put some metal uh, on it and then uh, catch us inside here and we'll show you uh, what we're going to pick out. a little bit. We really wanted a sheet of this. Overall we wanted a sheet but unfortunately they don't carry it. So what we're going to do is take this here. We think we can make it work. Um, they're a little bit smaller squares so this will definitely help out um, in the stability of it. Alright so the reason we picked going with the aluminum obviously the weight difference. Truthfully you can put four of these together and still doesn't even equal the weight of steel one and when you're you know any kind of extra weight you're carrying in the woods obviously it, it wears you down so this will keep it a little bit lighter now we got to go get some bolts and some uh, uh, washers making sure that we can fill the gap in here uh, with the washers so we're going to definitely go a little bit bigger on the washer side of things Yeah, I mean, no, let's, we're going to deliver it Friday. Yeah. Just be able to get it done, it's not tomorrow, Friday morning. First, what we're going to do is start off. we got to remove all of the, all this stuff. Um, we already kind of went to Ace Hardware and picked up all the goodies. Uh, that we need to build it. Hopefully we got everything uh, that we need. So I'm going to start uh, taking this apart. I'm going to get this drill quick and just kind of take off this bottom piece. And then we'll use these holes that are already there and actually use them for a pallet hole when we go and put down the what I'll call the flooring. Then back to the knife. Send that cursor to work. There you go. Now, this here is the cross member that actually holds this piece up. And what we're going to do, obviously, we got to cut this, but what we'll end up doing is we'll probably end up putting something here so we can actually hang our tree stand. Because if we end up killing one, we want to be able to use this base and be able to hang the tree stand in the back. So we'll end up putting something on here to, to just hook the tree stand in and then you can run a strap around it to hold it in place. That's gone. And that's gone. Look under here, there's just actually a few more screws. We'll take those off, and then everything will be gone. What I'm going to do next, where we took out all of the screws out of here, obviously there's holes already in the frame, so I don't want to go and drill more holes because it'll weaken it up. Because um, I didn't shoot big bucks, so that's <laughs> truthfully why. <laughs> well, I mean, look at your walls, dude. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> But, but at any rate, um, what I'll do is I'll end up drilling down through, uh, keeping the same hole, through bolt everything. We actually bought quarter inch uh, bolts, so that's what we're using hardware wise uh, overall. So then after I'm done drilling these holes, I, I will flip it over because there is holes on the bottom side too. Uh, we just don't want to put more holes into the cart uh, if we don't need to. All right, so what we're doing actually now 
is we're taking this aluminum and we're going to make it the cross members to go in the middle here. It's 24 inches across. So what we'll do is we'll actually cut them for 24 inches and then we're going to notch out the bottom so they slide right in. Um, and then we'll draw out the tops and connect them across. So what we did here, just because this is a little flimsier than we really like, one, we're going to double it up um, to help with the stability of it, but also what we did is we ran the cross pieces, we drilled out the, the sides, we just have these in here right now just kind of holding it in place, and then we ran a crossbar across. And we're going to bolt this down, obviously this is going to stick up just a hair higher than the rest of it. But once that mesh is on there, you won't really know it. Uh, we're going to start placing this in here. We do have to run some crossbars across uh, this side. Um, and we're going to bring the mesh up around. So we're going to knock this out right now. What we're going to do now is we're going to try to pull on it a little bit. So we're not going to tighten these down until we get these next ones in. What I did was I went down through and hit all these. I still need to um, hit a few more. One here, one there, but went down through. I'm going to end up hitting them with a hammer to push them down uh, just to kind of get everything flattened out so it's not snagging on anything and whatnot. After we do that, I'm going to run bars back here and run the mesh up the side. And the reason that I'm doing that is Seems like every deer cart that I ever played with, um, you always get a leg that flies off, hits, hits the wheel, stops the cart, drags the cart, whatever it may be. I'm trying to eliminate that. So when I run the bars up and run the mesh up the side, it's not going to allow that deer leg to go into the cart and potentially stop the cart it overall. So I'm going to hit this, I'm going to beat these down a little bit, and then I'm going to start making the measurements for the sides. I'm going to make this piece for the side and I'm going to run it on the outside. I'll put the mesh, the mesh will come down into here and sit in. But Owen, he's, he's going to hold it over there uh, while I make my markings here so I can cut them. I'm putting this bar in and I got to drill through obviously the piece of metal here and straight through here. What I'll do then is I'll end up cutting or just grinding off um, the bolts, but then the mesh is going to sit inside here. What I'll do is run a bolt through here just to hold it until I can go down here and drill the other side. I got the, the mesh on this side. I ended up putting the cross pieces here. I had a little bit of aluminum left over so I wanted to protect this tire as best as I could so I laid it on the inside here and just put two bolts in it. Right now what I'm going to do is take this and bend it over a little bit and I'll end up snipping it off then but what I want to do is run a few bolts down through it so it holds it on. I'm not going to go crazy um, and I'll make sure I take off any burrs that I have uh, with the grinder then and then I'm just going to repeat what I did here on this side um, and I'll drill these out and then I'll uh, I'll show you what the end, end result is here and then all we got to do is go through and grind down um, all the bolts and whatnot that we have sticking out. It's a little easier to work with uh, when I snip it away. I'm not looking for anything pretty. Um, just something that's really truly going to be efficient and I don't cut myself when I uh, go to use it so that helps me out there um, and I'll just start hitting it down with the hammer and that'll, uh, that'll roll over pretty nice and then <clears throat> I'm gonna go through and cut all the bolts 
that are hanging over off. Um, but I got both sides on. It's able to fold down. Have the cross piece there. Uh, I'm gonna put it together, and then uh, I'll see what kind of weight it can hold. Uh, but I think it's pretty good. Um, all right. So once was a little kitty cart. Now we turned it into a deer cart. But just to show, it's gonna hold some weight. We ran those cross members, obviously, to, to help, <laughs> help it the weight. And uh, she thought she was going over, but she's not going anywhere. But uh, remember, got the sides up there, so no deer legs are going to go through and hit the, the, the rims, or I guess you can say spokes. But overall, it'll hold the weight that uh, that we need. Um, unfortunately, I don't have my bike. My bike is currently down in Delaware. Um, but as soon as I get it back, I'll get a get a good uh, video um, as it running behind there. But. I'm gonna let the kids paint it. I'll let them paint it camouflage or whatever color they so choose to paint it as long as it's a, a, a woodsy color per se, but it'll be fun for them to do.